Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see the problems. So I there was a, a dialogue box that uh I had to click to that I okay. consented to be recorded, but I didn't see it. I was like, okay. yeah, what's up, Hans? <laughs> Sorry about that, but it kept telling me that I didn't have permission to um to turn on my camera. So I was like, oh, I no was worries. confused by that. Anyway, um I think it will be a short one because I'm a bit sick. Oh no. Well Yeah, no, you know, it's the regular flu, like everyone is having it. Yeah. The fun stuff is like CVS was smart enough to send me like a text saying like, oh, you have flu in your area. <laughs> oh, well, that's good, Thanks. I guess. Thanks, analytic teams of CVS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I guess when everyone starts buying all the like cold medicine and stuff, they probably send uh, send a text. That's like something up, man. Let's yeah. send a text for other folks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, anyway. Grab my book. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I have not built um, nodes, but and I will go fast because I have not done everything on these chapters, especially the end part. Yeah, me neither. I I skimmed it last night, but I um, and uh, you know I don't know honestly I don't think this is as much of a need for me. Uh, interface with yeah. compiled code. Maybe if I get you know I don't know. I guess maybe in the future. No, well, Lee, I think it's needed, but not now for me too. I mean, it's still yeah. to be needed. Like I can give you like a nice example. Like maybe I can mm. find it. Let me see. Uh, where is it? I'm gonna be able to find it. So here. Yeah, the GitHub. So, uh, uh, like, yeah, I'm working as a data engineer for our team. Mm -hmm. And the default of doing that is we do not have a correct, I mean, we, you don't have, as far as I know, an air implementation for having uh, an orchestra. Mm. So, like, the basic orchestra, the most famous one is Airflow, which is in Python. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have been searching like for some kind of solution to do that. So you have targets, but mm. targets is not, it's mostly work for file and it's difficult for all the other kind of stuff. Mm. So uh, that's, and so that's why like I have been exploring this and the related, I can show it in the chat a bit. Uh, where's the zoom chat here? Like this. And if you check, uh, do we have the conference of this package? Uh, maybe uh, this one or Mirai, mm. like the others have, have several package uh, that are used to manage uh, concurrency um, and do asynchronous stuff, which is basically what you want to do uh, as an orchestra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, where are they found this um this talk of this guy? So this guy have given the talk about it in our user conference two years ago. Mm. And uh so it's implemented in C. So behind the scene, the library that's managed that is in C. Mm -hmm. And you go into like all of that. So it's helped me understanding what it does, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I'm still far from uh, yeah. understanding how it does it. Anyway, it's a mm, very that's like, cool though. Yeah. What? It's, yes. It's it's an interesting application. Yes, and it's uh, it's gonna be used by crew. Like crew, like it's it's look like crew uh, package. So that's why like. I, I give like one stuff where I could think it's useful. Like I see, I see uh, here, uh, this package. So it, you, it, can, it can build on top of targets. Target is basically something that's managed the dependency mm. between the application. So yeah. let's say like you have a task that are waiting for something. So you need to generate an object that's gonna be asynchronously managed. Like I'm not yeah. very good with this asynchronously uh, programming stuff. So don't come to me, but like, <laughs> so this 
Mirai object, let's call it for the, but it could mm. be like for every kind of asynchronous object, can have multiple states, can be like waiting for something, complete, failed, or I don't know. And it needs to record all of that. And then if the dependency on that object are not matched, like we don't send the next one, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. So mm -hmm. you need you need all of these pieces to build something similar to Airflow, but with R. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. And uh, and so I was like watching this guy conferences and it was all about using uh, what we are starting to see in these chapters. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. That's it. I didn't, I mean, I didn't even know that there was a possibility to do that in R. Just reading the crew package documentation, that's pretty wild. Yes. I, uh, I guess, I, I mean, I've, I've never been part of a, like, a, a team that has to deal with uh, kind of, uh, I guess asynchronously, uh, kind of working on the same uh, workflow, but yeah, it, uh, usually I guess it's like, probably let, pretty common. Let, let's say, like, uh, even if I'm, I'm working mostly like, um, even if I'm the only one who handles the pipeline, mm -hmm. like I will have several treatments that depend on each other that can be very slow, mm -hmm. and um, usually are in single trade. I mean, not usually mm -hmm. R in single trade. Yeah. <laughs> so you can, uh, as a code, multiple R inside of R, which is always an mm -hmm. option, mm -hmm. kind of, but then you are kind of still running in the same. So you need, like, you have this code R package mm -hmm. that's allowed to open a multiple of R script. So you have, like, various ways of kind of doing it, but this is another way of doing it. Maybe it's using, anyway. So it's it's uh it was funded also by the Air Foundation. It was a grant funded by the Air mm -hmm. Foundation. So it's very like mm -hmm. I, I you have paper publish on it. So I think it's it's still it's still early early phase, but yeah, yeah the, the gist of it is like you want to have like let's say even on this laptop I have eight cores, mm -hmm. and on uh like basic EC2 instance like. Not necessarily the extra large or the big one. They are like sixty four, one hundred twenty eight, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and you want to monop like you want to organize some pipeline while doing like okay, like what x amount of core doing that shit, x amount of core doing the other okay. shit. Yeah, right yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you need to wait that they are finished so you get the result and mm -hmm. build yeah. But yeah, that's that's it. That's for the. A big summary of it. So why wow. are we interested outside of what I've mentioned? Why are we <laughs> interested in uh, interfacing compiling compiled code uh, with R? First, uh, I would like to say like, well, it's not easy. <laughs> like if you read the exercise, like mm -hmm. uh, uh, it does not seem easy. What I like also like is the author, like the CS source. I like how he build a small example, a small... Uh, I like to use R to build C code. Mm -hmm. An example that I, I found this example very neat, and maybe we can review it a bit. Uh, but let's say like the example you bring is like um, if you have like height memory needs or times, then yes. uh, that's something that's not easy to vectorize. You should probably use the, um, some C backhands. Uh, when you are finding yourself doing some iterative work or recursive work, R is not suited for, to do that. It's well known like you shouldn't use recursive function into R. So in this case, you should maybe write it into C and call it. Uh, mm -hmm. R does not support a lot of data structures, like even like, for example, like dictionary, uh, map. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is basically the same it's tables. So, and if you are like implementing that, maybe uh, you should bring it. And if you need methods provided elsewhere, I think it's most common example. And uh, for example, like in my field, there is like this tool that's named uh, GRASS, G-R-A-S-S, -S, which is like, I don't remember what the acronym in, means, but like it was developed, like funnily it was developed by the military army in the eighties. Mm. So maybe smoking with, I don't know what they call it that name, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, there was like terrible naming and, um, and they still build a bunch of algorithms that we do not have ported in other platform and they are in C. So if you understand correctly, all like you can access them, you can implement them into R. 
That's one an example. Mm -hmm. So in this chapter, the authors will mostly focus inside of very simple case, what he called very simple case. But I think that's good that he start with that because like uh, maybe more common, like my knowledge of C is not that high. I, I, I can survive, but that's it. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know it at all. But yeah. Uh, anyway, so because like you mentioned, like, uh, our package exists to help you uh, building it. This like RCPP package or uh, I don't remember the other name of the other one. Like I think there is one book from uh, Rick Edelbuttel that's uh, about this package. Mm. But yeah, basically like it exists a package that's handle way that's a better way and easier way to handle a bunch of stuff when you do that. But here the author is kind of like. I think it takes us very small example and didactic example. Uh, to all of us. Yes, that's it. And maybe I should share my screen. So also, so I have like an air session, uh, not, not this one. So I have like this, uh, where is it? Here. So I loaded like this package and I um, I just built it with the air command install. was pretty straightforward. Uh, I tested a bit, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what I should say first is like, uh, so if you want to, if you want to implement a backend of a C inside of an air package, what you need? Like this is, so for example, like this mysum air function, it has um, the C function. That's basically like how the C function is defined, which uh, is a pointer here and uh, then uh, you need the headers of it where you uh so the headers in c is like how you declare stuff so how you declare your function and also like uh you are including for example the standard definition uh which is like is it loaded here or is it like common i think it's probably like you probably have it in every c comp it's it's a standard library of c that's mm -hmm. provide a bunch of tools that c does not i mean nearly all the time. I don't know what if and def and define and end if means. And the author did not go into that. Yeah. But include is basically like, and that's not it. Then you need to provide a wrapper uh, around uh, your, <clears throat> your function, which is like basically the C version of it, which is where you specify the, the simple expression uh, of it and how do you write it so this is like the it's still uh, a C of it and this is what the um, see my my um, my compiler is like screaming error like mm. of it and uh, and you define it where like this weird RF is real RF error are probably uh, I assume are defined in air that ash or air internal that ash. Like so this so basically like when you are writing your function in C. Well, you could have like this is an answer an unnecessary step. You could have like put everything into the big file. This is just like the common way of doing it in C. You divide these two, these two. But then, like here, you just happen to have like a, like a C, uh, a C stuff that you need to compile. I can probably like compile it if I want. I'm so bad with doing that. Uh, I think I have C lang somewhere. Can you move, please? Zoom. <laughs> I guess if I ask C, like this is what its functions does. Uh, C lang and it's define everything, uh, which I don't want to define by hand. Uh, well, we, we're going to see that later, but I can probably, uh, not going into R, I need, I need, I, I don't want, R. I want, uh, a shell and I can probably use C lang to compile, uh, this, this two stuff into a binary. Then I can probably execute this binary if I use this two function. Yeah. I mean, to, not this two function, this two file. Okay. So let's go back. So I have defined my function which is to file, then I need to define the wrapper of that function. 
you're creating the binding between the C implementation, like because here, for example, like it's de it's defined uh, an object. Uh, it's gonna reference a double data type double, like something somewhere, and you need to tell R that uh, are you gonna define it. Yeah, this is just a test. Like if it's not real, I don't know, like if you could like pass non-real operators, it's gonna throw an error. But, uh, and then like it, it makes the sense of the langers of the team, et cetera, et cetera. The same way, like this is the same ID. You are like defining the headers in a, in a separate file. Like I have CC programmers doing that in just one file. Mm -hmm. So like, it just like these two between just one, but yeah, that's the ID. Uh, and then like, so you have like this core file to create, then you need to specify uh, inside of, um, you need to use like this uh, library, air external, air dyna uh, dynamic load, uh, that hash and R, which is like headers. I mean, we can probably find them somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, that's gonna define the the structures like the method, so you can like call them inside of a package, and they're gonna be dynamically loaded. So you can just load it like I have done that. So I have used the uh, I have used like this um. I have used boss where I think I just one. The author mentioned like if you want if you are develop develop developing the stuff, you can just use air command ace h lib. I could try that. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, should be here. That's why it's not in my air command. So if you err, ace h, h lib, and I don't remember the exact interface. Is it like the, so where is it? What are you passing to that? I think you are just passing, coming inside I've done that, the file, but which file it is? Yeah. I think you are passing the, um, well, we should be able to find that as uh, soon. I will test like the, um, so inst example, let's go to the LOC world. Let's see. No, so that's not this one. So it's probably the, where is it? Maybe I need to call it with the headers. Mm. Mm. No, because like I, I, here it's, it's, it's like the error is displaying me like it does not know what sex P is because sex P in hello world have not been defined because mm. it's been the headers somewhere. Like it should mm -hmm. have an IH file and I don't know it was specified. Anyway, it's yeah. so I think it's good if you understand how it works. But the author provided a very neat function here. Uh, where is it? So I'm gonna use that instead. Uh, here, where you can call it, and then it's gonna compile the 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 um, and create the link for R, from R. Mm -hmm. so we can we. Like the author like said like you should spend time reading it and I agree I spent time reading it was worth it I don't know if it's worth it now but what it does it's 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 basically building uh, the file on top of it so it's gonna pass like uh, the include and the internal that we need 
-hmm. So if I'm going here and I'm uh, sorry, here, no, ah, I just want that. Yeah. Oh, sure. No, you open a bunch of crappy stuff. Uh, if you are doing it like uh, you can see it, like I have built the, the first you need to load the function. Okay. Then when you call that function, it's going to build the file, the header file on top of your hello world. So I assume if I copy past that on top of uh, my, my stuff, and then it's it's going to call it on the, the file with the name of it. So it's it's kind of like generating uh, the the source file with a function with just the, the dot C instead of having the dot C and the dot H. This is how I understand it. Hmm. I think it's very, it's a, this is a system, at the end of the day, it's a system call here where the argument is R and uh, and the shilib arg uh, defined somewhere. That's it. That's very neat. I like it. Uh, anyway, let's move on. Uh, you have like a lot of type that you find. So this is like, the, this is the same function that we look at. That. So you have like basically all the, all the basic type are defined. And uh, this is like the, um, you have also test. So because C is more like dangerous, so you want to test like what the author have done on every, before every function, where is it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do we have an example here? Uh, here. So you have wrappers that test everything in your C code that exist, and I assume they are imported in one of the library uh, that we are calling like the header.h file. And and that's it. So I, I don't want to spend time on that. There's no very points like just reading all of them. Uh, the authors show like uh, this is an important point. Value are not passed in the same way because what we are writing here, a pointer into memory. So you write something in memory, then you reference the address of it. So you can't do like an like R where you are like just having the object. If you rewrite about, if you write over it, it will it will just have like weird effect and never do it. Always make mm -hmm. a copy because like you are not sure what you have inside of it. It's gonna overwrite it. That's why C is so powerful because it just uses a bunch of pointer into memory, mm -hmm. allowing you to manipulate that, but it's also dangerous because it allows you to manipulate that. Yeah. Then like the, the rest of it is just like uh, a bunch of example on how you can do it. And this is like, oh, this, this was important, like the memory allocation. So this, uh, if I didn't if I didn't read that, I will definitely bite me, because what R does is when it's basically when every time you call a new function, it's gonna normally it says occasionally, but like it's unclear. It's gonna clean the memory used, create and open it, and you don't want that for C because what's uh, targeting into your memory is like some places. So if you free mm -hmm. it, you basically it so. You are allocating memory mm -hmm. first, like you have like this uh, M alloc, which is like the um, uh, memory allocation in C. And you have, let's say like you have a big list, you want to allocate some memory for it. You're gonna allocate the amount of memory needed. But at the end of the day, you need to free it. So you go into like this example on how to do it. And uh, or you can protect also like uh, M alloc, I think it's go a bit faster, far, uh, far, farther away. I don't remember if it's here or later. But uh, anyway, it show you like how when you are wrapping stuff inside of R to avoid the garbage collection, cleaning what you want to keep because you are doing it in C mm -hmm. and you need to protect it with, and then not pro uh, remove the protection of it. So this part, I think like, I will not have think about it if it was not 
I'm grateful of the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh then the bunch of other stuff the string etc etc i don't want to deal with external pointer this is something specific for cpp c plus plus but he show you how to do it then you go into like how to deal with like um compound times uh it's basically like all are they encoded into r and how you can translate them into c logic um yeah sure i mean the same with matrix but it's more tricky <clears throat> uh this was nice you can also like if it's uh you should allow user to terminate process and this is how you do it especially mm -hmm. like when you are generating <laughs> uh stuff generating product uh a pseudo random number is probably important in some cases. How you do that? Uh, and that's it. How you can access random numbers in C if it's needed. Uh, and here, like, yeah, this is like the list of potential other files. And I don't think I will go further than that today, but yeah. 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 My main, yeah. my main, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was a, a little um, above my head a little bit just because I, I don't have a lot of C experience. But yeah, I, I can see why you would want to, especially if you're writing a package. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think you want it if you want to start doing stuff a bit outside of the realm of what yeah. that was meant for. Yeah. And then you are like, uh, else, but yeah. Uh, it's nice. It's it's it's. I would say it's nice, but uh, I like at this chapter because I think the example are very didactic. Mm -hmm. But even if they are didactic, that took me a lot of time. Like for mm -hmm. example, the author was not very clear. Like I I needed to search what was like this error mm -hmm. if his factors like they are they are structured defined in the headers file provided like all of that, like they are defined in yeah. inside of this header file. Yeah. Uh, etc cetera, etc cetera. and if you don't know that well i was a bit but, lost yeah. but yeah outside of it i think it's good and yeah yeah no need to go too much into that yeah next week yeah what is next week is uh environments what is next week? environments yes Envi okay that'll be that's that's good uh, oh no wait next week is uh unevaluated expressions yeah Unevaluated expressions. Do you want to do it? Do you want me to do it? Oof. Um, I, can I don't do know it. that I'll it's have a, a small time chapter. Time. Huh? I can do it. It's a small chapters. Okay. Yeah, that'd be great. Just I, I don't have a ton of time to devote to it. Yeah. I could just I could just like kind of click through it if you wanted and just like No, it's good, it's good. I, I, okay. I, I, okay. Let's let's I was just gonna read it and, and do like two days. Okay. Because I, I think this chapter, I could have spent way more time, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Well, I will um, jump to another meeting. That will be good that I'm finished a bit early. Okay. So I well, I hope, you feel, I hope you feel better. I hope you're all good. Yeah, better. I'm kind of, uh, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's happened, well, you know. Yeah. That's February for you. A, yeah. Um. All right. Well, thanks. I, I appreciate it. Yeah, bye. See you later.